We as humans are creatures of habit. We like our routines, we, li we like our day-to-day -day normalcy. So when that day-to-day -day normalcy, that routine is thrown off, then that can throw us off. Um, so it's no different in the NFL world. And it's no different with the NFL media because they are used to talking to agents, finding out about players, what this player is doing, how's that contract looking, how the talk's going, what's his relationship with the team, and so on and so forth. But when they don't have that access, ooh, when they don't have that access, things can get very ugly. And we've seen that time and time again when it comes to the media and Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson has shown he is a very private individual. He will only let you know what he wants you to know. He will only show you what he wants to be seen. But since the media is so used to being able to get reports and get leaks and all that stuff through agents, Lamar doesn't have one, so they don't have access to him. So what they'll do, they'll take stuff, they'll take it and spin it and turn it and twist it, and they'll be like, ha! This is what the real deal is about Lamar Jackson. All the meanwhile, Lamar just sitting back and pretty much laughing at him because they have to come up with these different stories and these different narratives uh, to try to feed the fire when there's really no smoke. But this was no different because, of course, Mike Florio, uh, we know how he feels about Lamar Jackson and Chris Sims. They, of course, do the show together and they had some very interesting things to say that Lamar caught wind of. And by the way, shout out to Bobby Trossett. Got to probably have him on the channel sometime. But shout out to him and shout out to his YouTube channel as well. Y'all check him out. But let's hear what both Mike Florio and Chris Sims had to say because Bobby Trossett, he was the one that actually tweeted this clip. Say he wants to win Super Bowls. He wants to win a bunch of Super Bowls. I mean, I think there was a time where he was like, I want to be like Brady. He remember him saying that early in his career. Well, Brady wouldn't be missing OTAs in year four of his career. I just that's where I want to say to some of these young quarterbacks. They always I hear like, oh, I want to be like Brady, I want to have a career like Brady. Well then do what Brady does. Brady didn't miss an OTA until he had played in four Super Bowls and, you know, started to get married and then started to miss a few OTAs. But then things didn't go that great in 2010 and 11 and 12. And you know what he started to doing? I'm going to be back at OTAs. I'm going to get a little bit better and we need this. That, that's where, just from the football standpoint, I, I just don't get it. I don't at all. And it's funny because, you know, a lot of times with Lamar Jackson, um with the media they will draw these extreme conclusions like you just heard uh with chris sims he said, hey lamar did and lamar did say that he wants to be like tom brady he said he wants to be like the the, the tom brady of baltimore he said that a couple years ago and obviously that would mean that he would want to be the guy in baltimore for the long haul win multiple super bowls with the ravens which is a great goal to have um but lamar jackson Missing three days, three days of OTAs leads to him saying like, this. oh, you said you want to be Brady. You want to win multiple Super Bowls, but you're missing OTA. So it's like he's saying, oh, since Lamar Jackson missed three days of voluntary, not meant voluntary OTA, not, not holding out for training camp, but missed three days of voluntary OTAs. Then Chris Sims is basically saying, oh, well, I guess Lamar Jackson doesn't want to win Super Bowls. I guess he really just doesn't want to be like Brady then. And it's like the, these extremes, the, the, the extremes that people go to when it comes to Lamar Jackson, it's almost sickening. It's almost sickening. And the thing, I, I got to give credit to Lamar because he's been dealing with this for a very, very long time. I thought that, I knew he had been dealing with it throughout his entirety of his NFL career. I knew that. But it also dates back to college, but it also even dates back to high school. That he's been continually have, having to deal with stuff like this. And he just keeps on pushing. So you got to give credit to him. You got to give credit to his camp. Give credit to the people in his circle. And that small circle that is kept very tight. It's, it's been a beautiful thing. Because when your circle is kept tight, you ain't got all these people in your business. The media, they, they got to create their own stuff. They got to create their own stuff about you. And you could just sit back and watch and be like, oh, yeah, that, that's a lie. No, nah, you know, that's not true. Oh, oh, that's what they're doing? But then there are other times when Lamar Jackson, he'll speak up. He'll address it. And this was no different because he quoted uh, the clip that Bobby, Bobby, Tr 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 Bobby Trost had put out. And this is what Lamar Jackson said. 
He said, Lamar wants to be Lamar, Chris. Obviously directed that at Chris Sims. Uh, this part of OTAs is voluntary, my guy. I will be there, just not on your watch. It's probably other QBs not attending voluntary OTAs either, but since it's Lamar, it's a huge deal. Find something else to talk about. So, Lamar, again, Lamar, something that I always say about him is that with a lot of his tweets, I, especially the tweets related to the NFL, you know that they have to be calculated. Not that he has to sit back up, sit back there and be like, oh, should I tweet this or not? Oh, what a, mm, yeah. But at the same time, he knows that he is continuously being watched like a hawk. He is being watched like a hawk. He, everything that he tweets, NFL related, even if it's not NFL related, but he is being watched so closely. And he knows, like, he's trending literally like every single day on Twitter. Every day. Every day. Remember during the playoffs, he was trending. During regular season, of course, he was trending. But offseason, he's, trend he's trending all the time because his name is such a hot topic. Especially because people don't got access to him like that. They don't got access to him like that. But Lamar, he said, enough is enough, man. So he, he, he knows that this tweet, people will pick up on this, but I'm sure he also doesn't care. Because sometimes if, if people talk about you, depending on who the person is, people talk about you, they could talk about you, they could say what they want to say. Okay, cool, it is what it is. Um, but it comes to a point where, and I guess what Lamar has come to that point a, a lot of times, especially this offseason, because he's been addressing quite a bit of stuff this offseason. Um, but it can come to a point where you're like, you know what? Let me just, let me nip this in the bud now because if I don't, people are going to take this. They're going to take this wrong information. They're going to take what this person is saying and they're going to run with it. And that's something that happens with Lamar Jackson so much and it's been happening with him. Let me give you an example. I was just talking to my guy about this yesterday and it's kind of a, like a subconscious thing. With a lot of people, they listen to the radio, they listen to sports media when they talk about Lamar Jackson. They say, oh, Lamar Jackson is a run first quarterback. He's a run first quarterback. You turn on ESPN, you turn on NFL Network or something, they'll be talking, oh, Lamar, he's a run first quarterback. And the way that they'll do it is when they're talking about Lamar, they'll be showing clips. You know how they show clips of players when they're talking about him. But they will only show running clips. They will only show highlights of him running, him maybe juking a defender, something like that. That's what they'll show. So subconsciously, while you're watching that and listening to it, you'll be like, oh, okay. Oh, that's oh Lamar Jackson is a run first quarterback. I'm looking at the clips that show it right now. And they're also while, while you're listening to them speak about it. And, and it's like almost you're getting a confirmation that he is a run first quarterback. When in reality, if you watch the games, then you can see he's the exact opposite of that. And I know a lot of people, whether Ravens fans or not, will be watching Lamar play and he'll be holding on to the ball looking and we'll be like, no, Lamar, take off, take off, take off. But again, when NFL Network and ESPN and stuff like that, when they show him, they show they only show him taking off, and they won't show the throwing plays. They won't show the plays where he's holding the ball, holding on to the ball for a while, waiting for somebody to come open, because that's the narrative that they want to push. That's the subconscious that they want you to believe about one Lamar Jackson. And with this, with what Chris Sims and uh, Mike Florio was talking about, it's it's no different. They are known in the media. They got respect in the media. So a lot of people are going to listen to them and take, take it for exactly what they said and take it and run with it. But Lamar Jackson is here to address it and let you know, like, hey, I got it. Be cool. It ain't that serious.